Hi everyone, it's me Heidi in Closet. Welcome to the first episode of Dragged Out. And who will be doing the dragging? Me, of course, because y'all saw how I looked on the show. So we're about to drag it on out. Thank you. I know, I know, I look good. Okay. I hope it won't. Look like my brother when he has some do rag on. I refer to you as my brother Heidi. You can't take, bitch. You can't take. My only dude. My little Okay. First things first, I always get all the oils and the greases and probably glue from the last time I was in drag out of my brow with a alcohol swab. Just get up in there, get all those oils, strip it. Strip, strip, strip it. You get it really good. This helps keep the, the glue from um, turning into oatmeal in your brow because the oils will stop the glue from adhering to the skin. Okay, now you're gonna get your glue. Just whatever. I always get the purple glue because it disappears as it as it dries. Just really get on up in there. I always pull the skin up. And you just pull it back. Let me smell it. That's a whole inside joke. It didn't air on the show, unfortunately. And then keep pulling it up. Just pull it up. See how flat? And as you're pulling up with the comb, also take the back end and press down. What brow? That's gonna be no brow by the time I'm done. Where's the makeup watch? Did you find them? You're so good to me. So good to me. God's gonna bless you with a category at the pageant. Mm -hmm. And now we blow dry it. Always touch just a little bit to see if it's dry. Now we've got stuff, go to the other side and do it again. Blow dry. See that silky? That's how you lay down the ground. When you're a woman, you don't have to lay down. Oh, bitch. How about that? I don't have to lay down. When you find her, let me know. <laughs> She's here, baby. Make sure you get the little tip right here. Cause sometimes I forget, and then when I go to dry my brow, the glue just, cause it's still not dry. So just the tip. Just make sure you get the tip. Always get the tip. And honey, I chew gum like a cow, so let's give it to me. I was gonna chew. That's what my grandma does. My grandmother has this little clock, alarm clock beside the bed. It has like seven pieces of gum on it at all times. They're all different flavors too. The funny thing is she doesn't have any teeth anymore. Yes. Okay, so next I use this color corrector. It's about out. Ooh, about out, damn. I am not no makeup influencer. Next. Next. <laughs> uh, she's about out. I put it on my brow. Make sure, make sure it's dry. So I put it on the brow. Oh, bitch, she is about out. Oh. Oh, well, we're out of mix, so we're just going. We're going to be using Kimchi uh, concealer, Superstar. Is that the right one? It's the most concealer. Oh, they're about the same color as what I was wearing. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And I put it on my brows because I like to color correct my brows because I have really dark, thick brows. And I don't want them poking through my makeup. And then I just put it right here along my my mustache. That's the mustache, right? Because it's beard mustache. Okay. Absolutely. And I always put a little extra on the sides because that's where my mustache grows the thickest. And then I also do the, the brow. Y'all see that coverage? The coverage is lovely. Thanks, Kim. Oh! I use two of these color correctors. If I can find the one up, okay. And I use this one 
over top of this and then along down here. Just This is for the extra thickness right here and this is for the color. This is uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal. And I put it back over top of this just because it deepens it and makes it more consistent the same color as all this is going to be and that is just disrespectful. Just I guess I can focus away now since it's empty. And then we go back in and clear. And now the brother is gone. I take this translucent powder that my grandmother uses as well for when she goes to Sunday morning church. Girl, look how orange I can look, girl. And I use this for, I use this powder for a lot of different things. You'll see. Cause I'm a lady, I don't need all that excess powder. You hear that silking? Hmm? Cause I'm a lady, I don't need all that excess powder. We know. You've been doing this your ass for 30 minutes. I ain't, it's only been 15. Now I draw my brow. So I always try to start like right here. No ma'am, say okay. <laughs> I start right about here. And then I take it in through the brow to almost the point of my brow. And I just lay it on top. So pray for me, y'all. My brows look like a hockey stick. No, they don't, Silky. Yes, they do. They don't. Go to the point. And then lay her on the brow, sis. And then I draw the top. I go at an angle. A curt angle. All you early 2000 WWE fans. Curt angle. And then you get here, and then just connect them. Itch. Try to get me. Okay, and now I use a pomade by Anastasia in Auburn. Auburn. So I take this little flat brush to fill this bitch in. If I can find it. But where the hell's my brush? That's fine. Beautiful. Absolutely. Wow. Girl, don't play me so much. Since the show. And we just go up in there and fill it around. And don't worry about it, because right after this, we're going to fix every little mistake we've ever made in our life before. Just with a little touch of concealer. Now we're gonna take that concealer I spoke so highly of and I'm going to just put it underneath and above my brow just to shape it and give it the shape that I desire instead of what I drew. Because, yeah. yeah Now I am done with my eyebrows and I've already put some setting cream and powders on this so I have a blank canvas. I'm going to go into the Kimchi and Naomi Smalls collaboration, Two Queens and One Desert palette. Today I'm going for very greens, greenery, um, just a lot of greens really, yeah. That sounds about right. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna dip into these lovely, lovely greens that they have, they have like four greens in here. Yeah. Okay, so I usually go on with a lighter green first. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, gee, it did that. Is that that green right there? How much? Now I use this little itty bitty brush. It's the like three horse hairs. <laughs> and I'm just gonna just, I use it to map out where I want my crease to go, and then I blend it out.
mind you, this is not a paid sponsorship to be promoting her their stuff. They sent it to me uh, just so I can have it because they're sweethearts. And now that um, that is done, we're going to go in and we're going to buff and blend. Now that you see the shape, we're gonna go in and just uh, blend it out because we're not, that's just, that's not it. That's <laughs> kind of sort of. And you're gonna just take that same green with a more floofy brush and really just start blending her out. Trying all my edges today. Why don't you love me, Silk? Silk, silk with the bad milk. Boom. And in. Always the double tap because you're a lady. You don't want to get too much product on the brush and then put it on your eye. So always, since you're a lady, you take the brush, put in that color, and then double tap it because you're a lady. You don't want to get too much product on the brush and then put it on your face. Just get up in there and just start working it in. Blending it around. That is a really pretty green. And now that that's done, we're gonna go back in with that little itty bitty brush again. And we're gonna map out the darker green. I always go light, then a darker on the inside, and then I shape the eye, all kinds of, of stuff. I wanna get it just a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna go into the uh, the Warrior 3 by Juvia's. This Maasai. She's a little bit deeper, but I'm going for. She's gonna give me that extra deep green that I need without the shimmer. They have a lovely darker green in there, but it has shimmer in it. And I don't think. Uh, a shimmery green would look good in my crease. Cause the color I'm using now is for my crease. There it is. So my crease is just to enhance what God gave me. Cause God blessed me with a bunch of canvas. And this is what we're given. You see that? And then now that it's there, we're gonna take that same green, the little blush, br not blush brush, blending brush. And we're gonna take that same green, just whip it out just a little bit. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Looking like a, what's her name? That villain. Poison Ivy. She could never. This is actually a really cute color from but I don't know that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Y'all, if a queen tells you, it doesn't matter where you get the product from, you can make it work, they're lying. Products do matter. It makes a difference. Now you can do things, some things, with the dollar store brands. But you'll look like it came from the dollar store. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna cut my crust with this little brush and that same primer that I used earlier. This is how I should really get in there and clean up the shape. Ooh, it squirted on me. <laughs> Ooh. And then just put it on the lid and really just shape the inner part of my eye. And it doesn't really matter about out here because I go in and put big black wings. So I really, it's all about shaping this part of the eye. And if it's my makeup skills she needs, it's my makeup skills she's gonna get. Ooh. You, girl. Don't let, let the children know you came over for a tutorial. No, I just came over, you just so happy to be doing more work. <sighs> really just start creating that shape that you want with this primer up in, up, up in the gig. This is the generic shape of my eye. 
You see, I don't focus too much out here because my wing usually cuts through like right here. Anyways, so I don't really need to focus all out there. It's all about getting the inner of my eye just right and the shape of the top of it. And now that that is done, I go in with a liner and I just I create the shape of the wing that I desire. But I don't fill it in just yet. This is the, uh, it's a liner by House Laboratories. It's the, the one in the fancy looking pants. So we dip just a little bit into the black, and you don't need a lot. Just dip right there, and just put right there where the liner and the crease meet. You're gonna take the darker green that you used to cut the crease with. And you're gonna put it right on top of that black and bring it down a little bit as well into the creek, but not the, the lid. And as you see, the, the dark green and the black is starting to marry and become a nice deepened black green and then you bring the green down a little further that way it's almost like it's radiating radiating ombre ombre words they're hard and just get up in there Once that is done, you're gonna go in with that lighter green that's around everything. And really just go in for it there too. And do the same thing, but starting here to about here. Back into that Naomi Kimchi collab palette. And then once you do that, you can see where the dark green and the light green meet, and you want to smudge some more of the dark green into the light green. Oh, bitch. The only one. Okay, and then the third color is going to be white. We're gonna go right back into that Alyssa Edwards palette. It has a white in there that I use quite a lot. You can see the colors I use a lot. I use a lot of blue, a lot of pink, a lot of yellow, and a lot of white. And now I fill in the liner, now that the shadows are there. I use this one to touch up the tips in here, just to make sure I can really get up in there, make sure it's all covered and connected, because sometimes I, I can't connect. And then the third one I use, just to cover the rest of it, because it does it faster. That actually came out really cute, I'm not mad at this. And I don't use green very often, but I'm not mad at this. And now that we've done this, I don't do the under eye yet. I go into my foundations and creams and powders and all that, and then I come back to the eye towards the end. Oh, I look like a piece. We on camera now, ladies. We got this right here. Okay, so time for dinner. No. <laughs> Now I use a primer. Now that she has primed her skin, it's time to get some foundation on the skin. I use Derma Blend Professional they use that. Cover Cream. They cover cadaver.
You're gonna apply this, try to apply it as pretty evenly as you can across the skin. Now I go in with another derma blend to lighten up my face a little bit. Give me a little bit of dementia. Give me a little bit of dementia, like my grandmother would say. Porcelain. Porcelain. Anastasia. To just push the highlights even further. But I take a nice, it's from Black Opal. Hazelnut by Black Opal. A black girl's best friend. Especially if you're starting out. You're going to I take the brush a little bit. And I find where I want my contour to start. I smile, cut, and taper off. Cut and taper off. And then I dab it across here. But I don't need a lot. I don't need a lot. And then I take it down this. And then I take the other, I have two. This is for all the highlights. This is for all the contours. And I just start. And now that, now that the contouring has been a little bit in some, I, this little trick that I do, I take this other pipes and splotch these. And then I blend where the dark colors and the light colors meet. Silky. And it helps create almost like a seamless transition between the colors. Seamless. Absolutely. Have you seen me? Absolutely not, because it's seamless. Fuzzy. You're gonna take this a little bit, contour your nose. All right, and then once that contour is on your nose is blended, you wanna go back just for the last time, you wanna go back to that um, porcelain. And just touch the highlight up in there just to make sure it's still there and defined. Right. Now that the creams are all done, I go in with a translucent powder on all the contouring and all the regular colors. And on highlights, I use a white powder just to make the, the, the whites and the lighters pop more. And then just blend all that off because you don't need all that excess. And you're probably like, hi, you look so pale. And you're right, I do. Surprise, surprise. But, you go in and warm everything up. First I go with a banana powder by Ben Nye. And I hit the high point. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now that our highlight points are taken care of, we go in with our contour powders. I use Cognac or Cognac or whatever the colors call for the light brown, and I use a dark brown. Yeah, buddy. Bring it all up into his forehead. 
Wow, making a man. During my set time. Bye, Shilp. Love you, be safe. Not all strong. Now that's when we go back in with the darker and we usually keep the darker towards the back and the bottom of the contour just to deepen it. Before, after the deepen. See, it just makes me feel more pretty. Now I'm going to blush. I'm going to use Kimchi and Naomi's blush palette. It also has shimmers in it too with that. We're going to do about, see what happens when you mix Naomi's world and Kimchi's world together. Well, you don't need a lot. She's very pigmented. And she will get the job done. You wanna get on that apple? I like it, I like the blush. Um, both of them together are really pretty. Uh, they, they look really good, they're pigmented. Um, I like them, they look good. Now we're gonna see how much my skin eats them because my skin eats color. So, um, Next I use is um, another powder by, a powder by Black Opal. It's their topaz, or it's, I think it's called medium. Um, I use it around the border of the yellow, the banana, on the forehead. This is how I marry the lighter color to the, to the darker color, to the browns. And then I use it underneath the contour. Now that we're done with all the powders, we go to the under eye. And I'm just going to swoop off some of this excess powder on the under eye. Not all the powder, just the excess powder so we can get some of the color in there. We're going to go back to those black liners. I have to fart. Get that out. Absolutely not. And now that we are back to the under eye makeup, we're going to shape the under eye. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those same greens that we used earlier um, and apply it. Apply it to the a challenge, as Beyonce would say. Voila. Okay, now that that is done, we're gonna go in with my trusty handy dandy cloud white. And this really nice detailing brush. And we're going to one clean up the inside and make it all white. And that is the eye. So now that we're done with the eye, I blend off all my powders. Okay, now I go in with a pink powder on the high points of my face, which is where I just dusted off the pink just bring a little more warmth, some color, believable color. Okay. Now that that is there, now I use this very flat brush and this brush. I use both of these brushes to, to do my brows and my nose simultaneously. All right, now that I have knocked off the pink powder, I'm gonna go back in with a white powder, just ever so slightly. Go back in. Touch it up. Put 
bank account she and my own Miss World um, just a little bit in there I'll just put it in there and marry some of the colors in don't get too crazy blush okay I know that that is done I go in with a shimmer we're gonna use the kimchi and Naomi shimmer that's in the same palette as the blush And then I give myself my beauty mark. Right there. All right, and then all you know is put on lashes. I'll be back. All right, and this is our final look. She's gorgeous. She's everything. I want to say thank you so much to uh, Kimchi and Naomi Smalls for the blush, highlighter, and the eyeshadow. She's looking gorgeous. I love, love, love the Two Queens One Desert palette. If you enjoyed yourself, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell for notifications when I post more things. And thank you all for tuning in to Dragged Out. Mwah!